Hello everyone, this is Eric Brander and Velma Brander, and we're going to review what we did this week in our next two-step class. Alright, so real quick, we did a basic one and two, three and four, outside turn, three and four, and if you look at last week, we did some head rake stuff. We picked up the other hand and did head rake. Okay, one and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. We went to closed. And then we got out of it. Three and four. So this week we did something different with that cross hand position. One and two, three and four. Remember, we're passing the hand off. We're taking the baton, the hand, putting it in the other hand. We're not dropping it or tossing it or anything like that. Okay? Once we have that cross hand position, we're going to do a, a prep on the one end. Meaning, I'm not making her shoulder just go straight back. I'm trying to curve her and rotate her. Okay? Rotate her clockwise in order to turn her counterclockwise on two. And I'll show you how that works. So I'm going to push towards her quite a bit on that one end. Not straight towards her, but towards her shoulder so that she rotates. So we got one and two. You can see there's quite a bit of rotation. Show it to you again. We go one and two. One main thing is keep the hand low. We don't want to go one and, okay? That tends to throw off balance. Down at the waist, keep it low, two. If I turn my shoulders out, it makes it a little easier to lengthen my arm and get that prep. So if I just do straight, I can only stretch it so far. But if I open my shoulder, I can get a lot of turn there, okay? And then we're gonna get her onto her right foot. Please point your foot forward towards your hand if possible. It just needs to be close to that. And we're going to catch the hand on two, which her weight's on there. Make sure she's solidly on that foot. And we're going to just pull a little bit towards us. She's going to finish her turn. It's a one and a half turn. Okay. We'll try that from another direction so you can see it. Very basic. One and two, three and four. Prep. One and two. Now stepping on my left foot. And I just equal weighted in this case, in three and four. Now she may be a little far away, but we're going to just do a basic, and then we're going to just move forward towards her. Catch up with her. Okay? Later on, the legs, or your footwork will probably be tighter and, and travel less, but at first, the steps are going to be a little bit big when you do this. Three and four, one and two, three and four. One quick thing about um, the connection with the hand, one and two. Ladies, you should be pushing against his hand. So her hand is actually pushing a little bit this way on my hand, and I'm holding it a little bit towards me, and then I'm adding a little extra force towards me and letting go. I'm not really throwing the hand, I'm pulling it towards me. All right? And um, then ladies forward, one and two. So when you're practicing this, point your toe in the direction, let's say there's a hallway, point your toe there, and we're going to do a half turn. We're going to do a half turn, and then rise on the left ball of your foot for the other half turn, half turn, and one more half turn, half turn, okay? So three half turns, one and two, three and four, one and two, three and four, and that's it for this week.